hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel um today i am coming your way with some nurse educator test review questions if you're planning to take the cne exam um these questions can help you these questions actually were pulled from the um certified nurse educator review textbook the nln um guide so again if you like these types of content and these types of material please consider subscribing to my youtube channel please like and share these videos so let's dive into the questions so question one states which student role has been shown to be least effective for students while practicing in a clinical simulation environment? So this question is directly um, relating to, related to teaching. Take a moment and think about the answer, and then I'll tell you the answer. Is it documentation nurse role? Is it family member role? Is it patient role? Is it observer role? So the correct answer for this question is D, as in David, observer role. And I'm going to bold the correct answer so that way you have it for future reference. Question number two. What curricular change in promoting education reform would best prepare students for complex healthcare environment, support critical thinking, and encourage lifelong learning? Take a moment and think about it. Is it increased community clinical experiences? Is it include a health informatics technology course? Is it developing learning experience that build upon previous learning experiences? Is it provide classroom experience that provide faculty student interaction? Take a moment and think about it. So the correct answer for this question is number two, and I am going to bold it so that way you have it. Number two, include health informatics technology course. Question number three, the nursing instructor expects the students in a pathophysiology course to be able to correlate the physiological changes experienced by complex medical patients with their clinical manifestation complications. What strategy should the instructor choose to best foster critical thinking? Take a moment and think about it. Help students use inductive thinking to determine what to assess. B, lecture about expected findings for each diagnostic test. Call for student to write a one minute paper. Show a short 20 minute movie about the uh, pertinent uh, clinical case. So the correct answer for this question is A. Help students use inductive thinking to determine what to assess. That's the correct answer. I'm going to bold this. Question number four. A nurse educator attempting to help students learn to appreciate and value team members, difference, difference and increase team, team functioning. What is an evidence-based strategy that will facilitate this endeavor? Take a moment and think about it.
A, incorporate technology in the learning session to help students find current information. B, provide classroom activities that encourage faculty-student interaction. C, assign group classroom activities for which each group comprises students with different learning styles. D, communicate to students that Completion of a classroom activities will provide the tool for success. So the correct answer is C, C. That's the correct answer. Question number five. The evidence shows that one of the ways excellent teachers stand apart from other teachers is by the way they interact with students. Give your grade on the midterm exam. I think it would be in your best interest to drop this course and return to the following term. Your technique for this skill was solid and you show concern for safety. Can you find classmates who can help you become proficient? I would like to see you become more involved in the actual care of your patients. So this is the correct answer. Your technique for this skill was solid and you have shown uh, concern for safety. That's the correct answer for number five. Let's look at question number six. Which question by the clinical instructor would allow the student to demonstrate critical thinking and development of clinical judgment? Take a moment and think about it, which is the correct answer. Do you think this patient needs the stool softener? Prescribe it for him. What teaching does the patient need so that her blood sugar can be stable? What would be the best way to manage pain following transurethral resection of the prostate? D. How have priorities changed for this patient from yesterday to today since, since his, he is status post one day post-operative? Since he is status post one day post-operative. So the correct answer will be D. And I'm going to bold this for you. D is in David. Question seven, the nurse educator is concerned that the students are not paying attention in class during lecture. They visit internet sites and text on their phone. What strategy should the nurse educator use to engage students? Take a moment and think about it. So the correct answer is use a personal response system with NCLEX questions. That's the correct answer. I'm going to bold this. Give the PowerPoint more rec actions and photos? No. Use Socratic questionings with the student? No. Call for the surprise quiz on the material cover? No, use a personal response system with NCLEX style questions. That's the correct answer. Question number eight. A faculty member noticed this year class of student is disruptive coming in late and leaving early, is unprepared and use their cell phones or computer for activities. Activities unrelated to um, listening to the lecture. What should the nurse educator do to remedy this situation?
Take a moment and think about it. Take a moment and think about this question. This question is a little difficult, but you can do it. It's not that hard. Stop the lecture and ask the student to pay attention, then start again. Continue the lecture and ignore the behavior. C. Involves the student by asking them to use their cell phone to look up information. So C is the correct answer for this question. Review organization values with the students and remind them of their uh, professional responsibility. No. So this is the correct answer, C. Let's look at this question. A nurse educator is at a faculty meeting and there is discussion on how to include informatics in their curriculum. What would be the most uh, collegial response by the faculty during the discussion? Take a moment and think about this. Is it cooperate with the decision? Usually the group decision is correct. Is it depersonalized the decision and focus on the goal and ways to achieve it? When there is a break in decision, start talking. Side talk with college, college and state how you think information should be incorporated. Take a moment and think about it. So the correct answer is depersonalized the decision and focus on the goal and ways to achieve it. That's the correct answer, and I'm going to bold that. Guys, I think this is it for this video. I hope this video, if you're taking the CNE exam, I hope this video can help to deepen your understanding. The exam is, you know, quite challenging and quite difficult. So I hope these um, few questions can help you to um, pass your CNE exam and um, certify nursing educator exam and helps to deepen your understanding and if these videos are providing values to you please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel please like and share and drop your comments below thanks for watching I'll catch you on the other one bye for now